Greetings chess enthusiasts. Welcome to my Alpha Zero channel. After a hiatus I'm excited to share a new video with you today. In this installment I'll be showcasing a thrilling match between Alpha Zero and the formidable opponent, Stockfish. Let's dive right in. I kicked off the game with a move d4. In this position, Black had options like c5 or h6, but ultimately chose to develop the bishop with bishop to e7. As the game progressed, Black initiated a pawn move with h6, creating a threat against my bishop. I had the opportunity to respond with h4, contemplating a bishop sacrifice, allow me to illustrate the variation. After the exchange of pawns with takes takes, the position becomes quite complex for Black, Black's knight retreats to h7, setting the stage for a powerful maneuver as we move the queen to h5, after rook moves, this combination leads to a checkmate in just two moves, so back to the position, we have bishop f4. I played g4 with the intention of advancing to g5, putting pressure on black's kingside pawn structure, when black responded with knight to d7, I seized the opportunity to play knight to c6, creating a fork that threatens both of black's pieces, black responded with queen to e8 and I proceeded with h4, aiming to advance to g5 and create threats, I also activated my rook by moving it to g1 eyeing control of the g file, I plan to bring my queen to f3, further intensifying the attack. Capturing the bishop would be risky for black, if black were to take the bishop with takes takes, I could follow up with queen to g4, delivering a powerful check, if black's king moved to h8 then a swift rook to g1 would lead to checkmate, with the queen on g5 securing the victory, so after king f6 we will push the e-pawn, if you capture the pawn, then it will be a checkmate in two moves. So back to the position, here best move for stockfish is to play rook g8, as alpha 0, the position offers multiple paths to victory. Giving checks to the black king with moves like rook to g7, followed by rook to g1, exploits the knight's coverage of the escape square, ultimately leading to checkmate in just a few moves. So back to the current position, stockfish played g6, I played h7 check, Capturing the pawn with h takes g5 would open up the rook file, after a series of pawn exchanges, a decisive move like queen to g4 check would force black's king to move to f6, setting the stage for checkmate by rook to f6, it's a strategically powerful sequence, so back to the position, with black's king moving to g7, the game continues with a focus on central piece exchanges, my plan includes moves like queen to g4 and preparing for h5 to disrupt black's pawn structure, potentially creating new opportunities in the position. Capturing the bishop would indeed lead to a perilous situation. After rook takes h5 check, if my king moves to g8, your queen on g6 would create a deadly threat. Black's rook can follow with h8 checkmate, making it a dire situation for me, so back to the position we have rook h8, sacrificing the knight with knight to e4 is a bold move, retreating the king to avoid losing the rook on a8 would be impossible due to the knight's control of key squares, creating a tactical dilemma for black. 